cuticle pusher. Ooh, that camera is sick. Good day from Australia. Press the number four if you're a Bananarama fan. Beautiful. So now we're gonna go in with, let's use the Pink Diamond Kiroko Bits, the OG. Number four. To purchase the um, the colors, either Dynamite or the Banana Rama collection, just go on the website and type in the name of the fun gel collection that you want, either Banana Rama or um, Dynamite, and then you can use the drop down menu to pick which one you want. From the Bahamas. I wish I was there right now. Really? Do they have hurricanes right now, or no? Is it pretty good? Yeah, that's scary. Didn't they just recently have an earthquake too in California? I want to say so. We're California. Hurricane, I mean hurricane, you don't have hurricanes in California. Earthquakes, oh, the God. fires. Disneyland's closed. <laughs> When's last time you've been to Disneyland? January. Really? Mm-hmm. I went to Disney World. Really? It's like Disneyland, but it's it was designed with like more space because Disneyland's tiny. So Disney World was made to hire to handle bigger crowds. So Disneyland's like a place to spend like a day or two, and Disney World is a place to spend a week. But I don't know. Disney World does it doesn't have as many rides because they want you to buy it to the other parks. Okay. So right now I'm using the diamond movement to go in and begin the preparation of the nail. Go in and remove the dust. If I should ever believe. Ooh, she's talking about the animatronics for the ride. They spent like a billion dollars at um, Tokyo Disneyland building a uh, Sleeping Beauty ride. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, they expanded the Fantasyland. Because Tokyo Disneyland is really similar looking to the Magic Kingdom in Florida. Tokyo Disneyland? It's okay. It's like being at the Magic Kingdom. I think the Magic Kingdom might be a little bit better. But uh, Magic Kingdom at Tokyo is cold. And Florida's never cold. Yes, and it rains a lot. It was there in January and it was raining and I was like, I am not prepared for the rain. I was not having it. <laughs> I was in line and I was like, I'm not gonna lose my space in line because of the rain. Thank thankfully it didn't rain too too bad, but like people had like, these plastic ponchos. I was like, I'm not gonna spend $10 on a trash bag with a hole in it. <laughs> you don't like the rain? No, I don't like getting wet. I love the rain. Really? I can't even remember the last time I went to a pool. Really? Yeah, I'd have a pool at home, but it's empty right now. <laughs> We could probably use it as a skating park. Yeah, like a ramp? Yes. The good thing about Arizona is you could probably barbecue on Christmas if you wanted to. Yep. So now we're going to take our dust brush. Mine is here somewhere. Found it. And let's remove the dust. What are people saying this can? Trash bag with a hole. Somebody's laughing. Yes, it's true. Ten dollars for a trash bag with a hole. So let's measure the nails, the phalanges. Aren't they fabulous? Like literally, like the best thing ever. It's so much easier on your back. And Kaz works here in manufacturing actually. She works in manufacturing and she also works with international orders too. Do you wish you got to work with more with Sassy? Mm -hmm. Who doesn't? I 
I love this pink too. It's really pretty because as you guys can see, Kaz is kind of fair, and my skin tone is more on the. I would, what color would you say? I guess I'm olive toned or like warm toned. No, not warm toned because I'm pretty cool toned. I guess olive, like a warm, all cool olive. And you can see like on my skin, it looks beautiful too. So this color looks really beautiful on really, really deep skin, on really, really fair skin, on just everybody. It's very, very um, flattering on all skin tones. I want to make sure that these are fitting. So that way she's ready for Bojangles later. <laughs> Did you ever go to Bojangles when it was open? No. Really? Uh, pretty much a dive bar. Like the worst in Tucson. The worst? Yeah. So you would apply one coat of nail prep, one coat of primer. I don't have nail prep on my desk, unfortunately. I need to get me a bottle. But we're using the new packaging. Isn't the new packaging beautiful, you guys? I actually need to shape up her free edge too in a little bit. Let's that dry for a second, and then I'm going to prep the inside of her nail using primer as well. So just a nice little swab of primer. I've never bought, I never went, but I just know people that told me about it. It's a very exciting place to be. Ooh, Antonio said that the. Bee's transformation scene was awesome. I'm gonna have to check it out later. And they also opened up a new roller coaster in Germany that's supposed to be really cool too. I love roller coasters. Really? Yeah. It's at a theme park called Fantasia in Germany and they're supposed to have some like a really cool flying roller coaster. So we're going to use pink press on gel to apply to her nail. And this is going to be the base coat. And as you guys know, press on gel kung fu grips the nail for dear life. <laughs> Becky with the good hair. <laughs> Hi, Becky from Oklahoma, right? Yeah. She does have good hair too. Wasn't that a Beyonce song too? It is. That's why I'm <laughs> We do have a new prep and oil bottle coming soon. Well, they're already made actually, but we have not launched them yet because we're finishing up the old stock. But they look the same except the caps are pink and purple respectively. Really? Is that what they call you for short? <laughs> Let's bake that for 30 seconds. But this is the new primer and the prep is purple and the oil is pink. But we did launch the new bottle for Cream Puff, which is like this. As you guys can see, she is very magical. It's a beautiful, almost like a cappuccino color. Send me the... Hi, Dorothy. Send me the link to the POV so I can check it out when, uh, when I get home. So her nails are ready to rock. So we're going to take the one, two, three, go nail. We got our new flashy lamp ready. Apply the gel on the inside. Make sure you have enough because we don't want any bubbles. Let's rock her off. Okay, so what does the new face gel bottle look like? It looks kind of like the... Do I need to change up my batteries already? Great, in the middle of a live stream, my batteries die. But I have a backup. Because I'm OG like that. I got my DIY lamp ready. Cause that's how we do in the hood. We ready. <laughs> there we go, beautiful. Ain't nothing coming between me and my one, two, three, go nails. My butterfingers. Do you ever like butterfingers? Yes. Really? I'm not too crazy about them. They're kind of messy, or is it just me? They are messy. They are messy, aren't they? 
like chocolate like that? Uh, no. I'm not a big candy person. And I personally like white chocolate better. I like white chocolate too. See, there we go. I got my battery, my flash is working again. I like white chocolate. There are some chocolates that I do like. I don't like dark chocolate though. I don't either. But I do like a Snickers. Mm -hmm. I like Twix. Oh, Twix are so good. Um, what's my favorite? And I also like candy from England because there's a story that when the U.S. and like England when we were fighting, that's why they drink tea and we drink coffee. That their chocolate company, which is called Cadbury, they have a whole bunch of candy bars that you cannot buy in America because we uh, put a ban on them or something. And for the longest time, you couldn't get American candy bars in the U.K. So like our candy is. Um, what are they called? Mars and Hershey's? Yeah. Theirs is mostly Cadbury. <laughs> but I do love from the UK. They have this one called Milky Bar. It's so good. That sounds good. And when my hair was really, really blonde, they say I look like the Milky Bar boy. <laughs> Milky Bar. And then Smarties. Smarties you can get in Canada too. But the ones in England are better. Oh my gosh, look what Antonio put. Baby Ruth! What did she say? She said she will be a, you know what? <laughs> I remember a long time ago that they had like, um... Gosh, my batteries! Come through batteries. That's what happens when you buy batteries at the dollar store, you guys. <laughs> sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. Oh, the Reese's Pieces, is that what they're called? The small ones? That in New York, there was like a shortage of them. A long time ago in the 90s. Oh, there's No, you have though, right? Look how beautiful they are, you guys. Isn't that beautiful? And that pink is everything. Oh, we got a really good question. Can you read that from Becky? I'm seeing the comments out of the corner of my eyes, so I apologize, you guys, if we can't get to all your comments. It's a fairly new one. She was asking about the pink press on gel. She was asking what we were using. So I personally like using press on gel better because it really, really holds the nail so firmly. Um, if you're doing nails on yourself, Happy Gel is easier because it has less fluidity, but Press-On Gel was specifically designed for the 123GO system. So it's a thick viscosity gel, and you can use it as a builder in a bottle as well too, so it's very multifunctional, or as like a nail strengthener too to give volume. It's great for like broken nails and repairs and things like that too. Wow, look at that. Beautiful. So now we're going to bake this for one minute inside the Dazzling Darling Lab. And it comes in two colors. It comes in clear and in pink. Can so, you fill with these? Yes, you can, but I personally like to just do a new set every two weeks. Or longer. It just depends. Some people last a lot longer with the nails. But the average is, I would say, about two weeks. How long did you last with your previous one? I lasted through two moves. <laughs> you did, because you moved houses and we moved um, our office. And I didn't break any of them. Yeah, she was. She did a lot. And then, and this lasted for like about three weeks. Or yeah. longer, yeah. Longer than three weeks. Yeah, and I've seen people fill them with pretty much anything. And there goes my mouth. And then we're going to take a brand new Fantastic file. We're going to use the 180 today, which is... No. When you apply them properly, no, they last. They are made out of soft gel though, so they are flexible, but if you apply them properly, and we have ways to like, if you are really, really hard on your nails, how many times do we do it? Twice. If you're really, really hard on your nails, you can definitely apply press on gel on the inside too to build up the strength without building up the thickness. Oh, so we're gonna get a brand new fantastic phone. Especially right now during the Rona times, everybody loves the fantastic file. So now we're going to shape the flange. Hmm. 
make sure those sides are nice and snatched. And because we're filing soft gel, you guys, you don't need a like super coarse file. You don't need a 100, 100, an 80, 80. Just something really soft to refine the shape is pretty much all you need. Of course, if you're doing like hard gels or acrylic, you definitely, if you feel more comfortable using a harder coarse file, you definitely can, but for the one, two, three gonads, 180, 150, 150 is actually already a little coarse. 180, 240 is perfect because all you're doing is refining the nail. You don't have to really shave it because the shape is already made for you. Does that make sense, kind of? Mm -hmm. Wow. Is it really? Yeah. I actually had a, a treatment today, but I didn't go, it was too early. Me and my mom were gonna go to the skin clinic. I was gonna do the high frequency microneedling to help with my double chin. <laughs> but that, do you even have a yes I do. Especially when I lost all the weight. Like I look, used to look like a pelican. It was bad. <laughs> There's this one picture they took of me when we were at a nail show. I think it was in Mexico. And it was just huge. Especially the angle they took it from was like from down up. Yeah. All you could see was like, whoa, I look like a polo print. <laughs> <laughs> so we are going to use the new laser cuticle bit to blend in and get laser precision. You know what, let's use, use, um, because you type. I want to use the pink carrot bit first, actually, because she does have a little bit thicker skin. I found it. There you go. So we're going to use the pink carrot bit first. That's why it's important to have all the bits because not everybody is the same. So we gotta be ready for everything. <laughs> Thank you. I need a cut back on eating out though. That it gets so expensive. It does. And unhealthy too. I'm like, how do celebrities look like stay in shape? Because they have trainers. Oh. And they're probably motivated because mm -hmm. they, they get paid to look good. Mm -hmm. And we don't. We're just, we do it because we want to or because we have to. So now we're going in with the laser cuticle bit. And this is really going to create laser-like precision of the blending. Just gonna say, what's the name of the nails, the color? This is the Princess Pink Sculpted Medium Almond. So this is a, one of our sculpted shapes because in, both, in the 123 Gold Line we have both the, the normal ones and sculpted. So this is one of our sculpted shapes. So the fit is a little bit different. You guys can see we can really get in there and really carefully clean everything out. Yeah, give me one second. You can see it's really tiny little diamond ball bits. Very, very like super precise. Yes. Because it's made out of real diamonds too. Out of real diamonds? Yeah, it's made with diamond particles. Mm -hmm. So the pink ones are made out of zirconia ceramic. The diamond ones, like diamond prep, diamond manning, Russian cuticle bit, are all made with diamond particles. 
refuse to steal. There we go, now she is blended. So now we're going to use the Pink D from the Pink Clean D set, which is a ceramic smoothing ball. And this is going to really buff out the skin. So this is really gentle and it's just going to remove any of that flyaway, that crusting and dusting and just give us a really clean cuticle area. But it's important to also moisturize every day. Drink lots of water. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Really? That's supposed to be like the healthiest thing you can do. Yeah, that's what I heard. And I heard you like your skin improves if you drink a gallon a day and all this like good stuff happens. But that's hard though. It is hard. And you have to go to the bathroom Yes. And I heard you can get sick from drinking too much water too. I don't know how true that is though. I don't know if that's true. So right now I'm taking our 240 grit file and I am again just refining the shape before we begin the design process. And a super fine file because, like I said, you don't need something super coarse. Zoom tight. Cass, can you look for the buffer here on the on the bar? Is it there somewhere? She was hiding. She's ready for Bojangles. <laughs> so now we're going to take our buffer. We're going to remove the dust and the shine off the natural nail. Get it ready for the Maxi Magic Film Glue because I love foil. I'm not a big sticker person. We did have a line of stickers a while ago and they were great, but they didn't do too well. And our foil line does incredible. And I think foiling is a lot easier because you just basically rub it on in stickers. I hate the, like, Sometimes when you're putting stickers on the nail and then the sticker doesn't lay flat and if you keep touching it, it just rolls up even more. I'm like, no, I'm not having this. That's why we don't have a sticker line anymore. So frustrating. Yes. I was watching a live stream the other day too and I was like, I bet you the sticker's going to lift. And lo and behold, she had to get another piece and do it again. So right now we're just doubling out the inside of the nail. For applying the 123GO press-on gel, all you have to do is uh, primer. Instead of filing the inside of the nail, all we do now is just um, uh, scrub the inside of the nail with primer and you're good to go. You're, definitely learning right now with video. <laughs> you're like, this is a real eye-opener. Let's remove the dust. Remember, you guys never cleanse the nail with any kind of alcohol or cleanser or anything like that because that will add unnecessary moisture to the nail and cause a lifting of our gels because our gels are designed to be used dry. So now we're going to go in with the Maxi Magic Film Glue. A nice thin The good thing about our foil glue, the new formula, is that it's so thin, it will not make the nail wide, because you guys know I hate a fat nail. And some foil glues are like super thick, like Elmer's school glue, I'm like, no thank you. <laughs> Just makes the nail look like a lima bean. Yeah. Does it look natural? No, it just looks so bulky. Let's remove any excess. Go ahead and bake it for 10 seconds. Don't over bake the foil glue. 
one of my homegirls on, on Instagram was like, my foil glue is not sticking and I see you use it and it just sticks really beautifully. And the issue was that she was making it too long. So let's take the Riviera foil kit. Look how beautiful they are. Which one should we use? It's so hard to choose. Um. <laughs> Maybe this is kind of cool looking because it's kind of like marble. Yeah. This one too. This one? This is kind of cool too, huh? Because it has flowers and everything. <laughs> oh, with the butterflies. This is cool. Let's do this one. Okay. So let's cut off a piece. And instead of covering the whole nail, I'm just going to do it abstract. Yes, they are. Oh, do you see the leather? Are they up here somewhere? Wow, look at that. Is that beautiful or what, you guys? Press really firmly. I need some blue in this life. There we go. It's Chinese. <laughs> Let me check. I think it's Luhan or something. Wow, look how pretty that is. So now let's go in with gold shiny. So the gold shiny comes in the set of three. There's three colors. There's gold, pink, and opal. We're gonna use gold today. Gold is my favorite. Is it really? I'm just gonna add a kiss of gold sparkle to the nail. Okay. It's very, very sheer. It's not like super big chunky glitter. We do have gel polishes that are like that if you want that, but today we just want to keep it really simple. Hey Kaz, you know you have to pick a winner at the end of the video, right? Pick a winner? Yeah, winner, winner, chicken dinner for the giveaway. Is it gonna be? Well, don't say it yet. It has to be until the end of the video, but. They definitely have like a fall vibe to them, but they also feel very Mediterranean at the same time. There is butterflies. Yes, we have lots of different foils. How many different foil sets do we have? Quite a few. the side, make sure there's no excess, the finer brand, keep the nail as skinny as possible. Go ahead and bake that for 30 seconds because we're going to go in and then we're going to add one coat of Wonder Gel on top. You can do another coat of Wonder Gel, another coat of Shiny. We're just doing it to create more volume on the nail and just um, extra protection because she does work in manufacturing. So she does do a lot with her hands. And let me show you guys really quickly the new Bungeo colors. This is the Dynamite collection. This color was inspired by Lisa Frank too. Aren't they beautiful? And this is the Bananarama collection. And this color too forever to make because I want to make a really good like Tweety Bird yellow color. 
So now we're gonna do one cut of wonder gel. Listen, how do you enter the giveaway? Like and share and participate. And don't forget, you guys, the foil kit we use today is Riviera. Actually, this year, because of the amount of volume of orders that we have and the COVID delays with shipping and everything like that, we're not going to be releasing holiday-specific products this year. But next year, I do promise that. One minute inside the dazzling darling lamp. Do you guys love the new Wonder Gel bottle too? I didn't turn on. They're so pretty, aren't they? Yeah. I love the set of three shiny. For the longest time, I was really like, I wasn't on the fence about making glitter top coats, but I think what we did was we created something that was really um, beautiful and just really soft. Oh, one more time. And something that you can really like layer. I didn't want to do something too glittery or too like over the top when it came to the shiny gel top coats because I wanted to make sure it was something that you would be able to use in the long run every day on your clients. But they are only sold as a set. And all of the, all the products that we're using today are on the website already too, including the new colors like the Bananarama and Dynamite. And there we have it. Give the nails about 10 seconds to let the nail cool down and then we can apply cuticle oil to hydrate all that dry skin. That you guys, isn't that beautiful? In Canada, they got a little bit long, of a longer wait for the new stuff just because of the delays in shipping, but they'll probably be available in Canada maybe towards the end of the month or early October. Don't forget to message Eno Couture Canada for all the details and all the all the tea up there. Let's get some hard light up in here. Ooh, look at that. Here it is with hard light, you guys. Look at that foil. And can you see that just kiss of gold glitter to the nail? That cuticle is blended for Phil too. Wow, that's beautiful. And tap them really hard so that way everybody can see how strong these nails are and that they don't bend or anything. Beautiful. So now, Miss Cass, you have to pick the winner for today's live video. Who is it going to be? And this will come off when she washes her hands or with a little bit of acetone. Uh, it'll tell you. No, no, that's it for us to share it. Yes, we have worldwide shipping. Stephanie, what's your last name? Carmona. Stephanie Carmona, where do you live? Are you still here? Hello, 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 Miss Steph. Are you here, Mama? Miss 
Steph Carmona. Did she leave? I guess she left. Oh, she said yes. Where do you live, Stephanie? Do you live in America? Connecticut. Okay, awesome. You have 24 hours to email Enel Couture, no, info at enelcouture.com. Again, the email is info at enelcouture.com to claim your prize. There you go, you guys. Well, stick around for tomorrow. We're going to do another live video and another giveaway. And I love you guys so, so much. And don't forget to use up that promo code. You still have a few hours left. That promo code is HAPPY6 to take 10% off your entire purchase for the six-year anniversary at enocouture.com. And I love you guys so, so much. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.